What is going on everybody? Hope you're having a wonderful morning today. It is bright and early on a Saturday. I'm here with my girlfriend here. Hi, it is uh, 7.30 right now. We had to wake up around 6.30 on a Saturday. I know it's awful. We're actually heading down to Peach Days in Brigham City, Utah, which is one of the largest, maybe even the largest car show in Utah. So it should be really fun. My gripe is, what is it with car shows being so early in the morning? Can't we do like a two or three o'clock until like seven or eight? I don't get that. Anyways, that's just the problem with car shows in general. First off, we're headed to my girlfriend's cousin's house. Uh, he's actually got a Mustang, so you guys can fast forward that section because we don't care about Mustangs here. Totally joking, you guys definitely check that out. He's got a really awesome Mustang. Um, we're actually gonna be driving down with him and some of his friends, and I'm assuming they're all Mustang people, uh, so I'll be the oddball out, but it should be really fun, and then once we get there, uh, we'll take some video shots of some really cool cars, so it should be a really good show. Now with the power of YouTube, let us travel into the future right now. All right, so we are leaving with the crew and it's actually not a bunch of Mustangs. There's one Mustang GT, which looks really nice. Uh, it's got a twin turbo on it, producing probably close to 700 some horsepower at the wheels. We've got a CTS-V up here. Um, we've also got a G8 Pontiac and then we've got a Ferrari 599. So kind of a diverse, interesting group, but we're about to head down to uh, Brigham City to attend Peach Day. So the next scene will be us arriving there. All right, so we we just got here and the show is huge uh, somebody from our group just registered and there are like 750 cars already so and there's people still registering so from what I found out uh, from my girlfriend's cousin this is the largest free car show west of the Mississippi there are a ton of cars here we're actually right now waiting in line to get onto this big park area where we're gonna be parking our cars. So it should be a really good show. I've never been to this one, um, but we're excited to see all the cool cars. As we were driving by, we saw some awesome vehicles. There's a GTO right here. So a lot of cool cars. Hopefully we bring some cool content for you guys. All right, so we just got here. We got the baby cleaned up. Should be pretty good looking. Uh, got the signs all up and now we're gonna go and explore some other Mopars and Mustangs are down there. It's not a Mustang. So this is my girlfriend's cousin's Mustang. It's got a uh, twin turbo. So it produces roughly 700 horsepower. It's crazy. Looks beautiful too. It's nice and clean inside. So this is an old 67 Bug converted into an electric car. It's crazy. There it is. That's crazy. This one's cool because it's a split window. This one's very rare. They only made it one year. It's like a Gyarados. I think this is the car they used to smuggle moonshine. So the people we don't care too much about because there's no shade on it. Yeah. How is it back there? <laughs> how the 1% live, how everybody else lives. That's the hand crank to start the engine. But it used to like recoil quickly back so a lot of people would get injured before we had electric starters and stuff like that. This is the original owner of the vehicle. The Dodge Demon comes with these wheels on the front. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of cool. You got a swivel office chair inside of your car. Challenger RT 440 Magnum. Grandfather of my car. Very few 
you have survived this pretty rare car over here. Looks a lot like a Jeep, but not sure if it predates the Jeep. Seven cars. That's crazy. Uh, I like this wood paneling. That's cool. Camping car. Sink, tea kettle, grilling tools up here. Yeah. This little, oh, the grill's attached to it. So is the little table. That's cool. We got little sleeping quarters in here. A little TV. Carbon fiber spoiler. That's cool. It's beautiful. This is actually a kit car. So, I was gonna ask you. yeah. Uh, I think it's called Venom GT, if I'm not mistaken. Spider? Oh, okay. Oh, Vader, that's right. Vader Spider. Yeah, but they, they this whole thing's like a kit. You can build it. I don't know how much it costs, but you can build the whole kit and everything. I think they take a base car. I don't know which one they take, but then they build this whole body. It's all fiberglass. Jimmy has a really cool paint job in Pearl Lesson. Is the Sherp? It was on Jay Leno's garage this, two weeks ago. Kevin Hart drove in it. It's supposed to be like the ultimate off road vehicle. It's a pretty cool paint job right here. Some flames. NHRA drag racing champion. Uh, this is like the cutest little military truck I've ever seen. This thing's awesome. I know. That's a crazy cool color. Really cool looking GTO over here. It's all blacked out. Very nice. This one's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a little go because it's a GTO. That's cool. different cars I think at one point they announced like 900 different vehicles or something like that um, right now we're actually heading back to uh, the Salt Lake area and then heading to Tooele where we're meeting up and driving to the Salt Flats which are closer to Wendover Utah so uh, the Salt Flats is pretty much where you can go as fast as you want to go there's no speed limits it's just uh, it's the remnants of the former Lake Bonneville which was just a giant lake that was in the area and that's the salt bed that we get to race on and so they do a lot of uh, events out there they actually record uh, like the, the land speed records on, on the salt flats if you're not familiar but that's where we're headed actually now and there's a chance we might be able to race on it uh, now they're setting up for the world of speed which is next Saturday uh, and that's the event where they actually set these world records but uh, the, this weekend they might be setting up for it we might have a chance to get on the on the salt track and kind of go our top speed but 
there's a chance we might not. So we'll kind of see when we get there. Uh, worst case scenario, we'll just take some cool photos on the salt and then go from there. Best case scenario, I'll get to hit over 100 miles an hour in this car. So I'm really excited, we'll see what happens. I'm hoping it doesn't disappoint, but uh, you know, worst case scenario, you'll just get some cool photos on Instagram. So let's head to Tooele and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, just got to the Flying J in Tooele. We're gonna be here for about half an hour and then drive that way, farther west, uh, heading towards Wendover to hit the salt flats. Hopefully get some race time in. So uh, we're gonna depart in a little bit. This is a cool charger been wrapped you guys should follow him on Instagram I'll throw it up on the screen now I think it's uh, mint charger something like that so I'll throw it up on the screen right now you guys should follow him uh, yeah at mint charger there it is really cool charger got a really cool wrap on it so you guys should definitely check him out So just pulling into uh, the gas station right next to the Bonneville Speedway. There's the sign. Bonneville Speedway is on the right. So uh, we got a cool caravan of Dodge Challengers, Chargers. We have a Grand Cherokee, a Trackhawk down there. Um, and then we have some cars behind us as well. So should be a good turnout. Let's see. Hopefully we'll be able to hit the track and uh, hit some top speeds. But we'll see what happens. Lots of Mopars here. Just made it to the Sinclair near the Speedway. This car is hideous. Got a Mustang here. Follow this guy, that 1RT on Instagram. Posts every day, he's got some cool shots. You got this awesome Viper over here, GTS. Looks awesome. Nice. Okay, I think we're gonna hit the road. All right, pulling into the Bonneville Salt Flat. So this is where the concrete ends and the salt begins. Crazy, looks like snow, but it's not, it's salt. just be that this is how it is right now and then next week it'll be flattened out but uh let's see we'll keep uh, keep going further and see what happens all right we just parked probably going to take some really cool photos and then see if we can race on it it's really bumpy so i don't know if we'll be able to go really fast but either case the photos are going to be epic oh wow that it's all salt right there that's crazy wow insane. Damn. Here it is. It's all salt right here. We're out here, a bunch of cars, all covered in salt, and it's a pretty BA. This is awesome. Challengers and chargers as far as the eye can see. It's beautiful. Got my camera woman right here, taking photos. Do a run and see what happens. All right, let's do this. Five, four, three, two, one.
five zero to 60, which was really slow, but we barely had any traction. Um, 143, top Woo! speed, 143. So maybe we can hit 150. I think that's my goal. So that was super exciting. We ended up hitting, let's see here, uh, I have to go through the screens, 157 miles per hour. So that's the fastest I've ever gone. It's the fastest this car has ever gone because the previous record was 129, but uh, that was super fun. I mean, I can, you have to do it yourself to really experience that speed. It's crazy. It's scary too because I you never go that fast unless you're in an airplane. That's pretty much all I have for you guys today. We're going to let the car cool down. Uh, maybe we'll come back here again in October and try to get some more cool runs in before it gets really bad conditions. Uh, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. My camera actually... Whoop, my camera actually died, so I'm using my phone camera now, so um, hopefully it's not a huge difference and you guys can hear me okay. I also want to do a quick shout out to Salt City Mopars because it's because of them organizing this event that we were able to go out. So um, all the admins of that group, uh, I'm not going to name them off because I'm sure I'll miss some. So all of you guys out there that are organizing this event, thank you guys because uh, that was an awesome event and they do it every year. So uh, I apologize if there wasn't too many shots of the car you know, racing at its top speed, but my battery was dying on my camera. It's been a long day and so I wasn't able to get all the cool shots, but hopefully if we come out again in October or next year, I'll get much more cinematic shots uh, because I'll know kind of the terrain and what to expect. This is my first time ever out here, so it was kind of new to everything. Uh, but next year or next time I'll plan better and get you some better shots, but I definitely took some really cool Instagram photos, so follow me on there if you want to catch some of those cool pics. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. That way you can follow up on all the updates. And definitely catch me on Instagram at Schwazy underscore. I post uh, almost daily photos of this car, so if you guys aren't getting enough love on this channel, then you can get it on the Instagram. But uh, I'll stop blabbering. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh,